Let me, uh, let me get my stopwatch. How long do you think we can go without speaking? I'm not going to do good on that. Oh, you're going to be fine. My dear, dear, I'm going to just call you son. My dear, dear son, you can do anything you put your mind to. I know you. I need your face on this camera because yours is much yours is much better than mine. All right, let's see let's see what happens if we go a minute and don't talk. We did it. How uh, how hard was that for you? Oh, you're still not talking. Quality contact. <laughs> there you go. What? Let me ask you this: What, when you were not speaking, what were you thinking about? Not speaking. Thinking about not speaking. That's the only thing I can think about. It was really funny because I was thinking things like, and I wanted to say them. I wanted to say That's this. This is going to be a really boring video, you no, know, or uh, something like that. And you know, it's really hard not to speak, isn't it? That's what, that's what always happens to me in school. Mm -hmm. I want to talk to, to people. Mm -hmm. So, you know what we learned, though? That I can't go past two minutes. We learned that if you put your mind to it, you cannot speak. But it's a lot for of work. For not two minutes. It's a lot of work, isn't it? I can only do it for one minute and 50 seconds. And <laughs> I actually got the world record, so let's see how everyone else now, does. Do you have to raise your hand to speak at school? Yeah. Do you do that? No. You just blurt it out? That's what I always do when I... <laughs> I throw up. You just vomit your words? No, I vomit, vomit. You know, that's not good. I don't want to hear about that. That's kind of gross. It's weird how you vomit words. I think you need to go to the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I, um... Of course, you know I'm a psychologist, right? Yeah. Sometimes it feels like people come in to my office and they, um, especially often the first time, they have just so much to say. It's just like bird vomit. I think they all need to go to a psychologist doctor. So, um, let me get to hold it in. Let's see. So, um, no, here's what I know about you. If you will put your mind to it, and it's important to you, you can do it. One of the things that I had written down and thought about was, okay. part of the reason it's important to speak less, listen more, is that your, ref your words reflect who you are. Make sure they represent you well. So if you're, if you're just talking to talk, you may be speaking in ways that don't represent you as well Selfie. because you just are talking. Or to have
power, use your power for good. Words can hurt people. Don't do it. Don't. Don't do it. Don't hurt people. Your emotions can make you say things you don't mean. And that's hard sometimes. I think sometimes with ADHD, people's emotions can get in the way when they get mad or, or whatever they speak impulsively and maybe say things they don't mean. Think before you speak. Words can harm your relationships. Be careful. You can't take it back after you say it. You can be forgiven, but sometimes the hurt remains in the things that you say. Just like you can't unring a bell. Think about that. Can you unring a bell? Yeah. How do you unring it? Well, on YouTube, like there's like that notification bell. You can unclick it. Unclick it? And yeah. Then, then you won't get notifications. From yeah, but once you ring the bell, you can't unring it. But I just... You just, I just don't ring the bell. Mm -hmm. Just don't, yeah, just, just, yes. So, yes, that's the kind of the idea is that um, don't ring it in the first place. Exactly. Don't say it. Let your words be sweet and few. People will listen more if you do that than if you blather on. Think about how your words affect others. Why are you speaking? And act appropriately. Oh, we're up to six minutes again. All right, I'm done. You done? Peace out. I know you can do this. Go for it. I can't do it. <laughs>